What is going on guys? My name is Peter Roberts, a part-time eBay college student, but also love to wake up on Sunday mornings. I'm going to tell you guys why Sunday has always been a profitable day for me, and more importantly, how I generated those $300 worth of sales in one day. Um, overall, I'm just going to break down how I strategize my listings when I go th sourcing and thrifting, and more importantly, how you can do it for yourself. So. That being said, guys, we're going to break down the items first, but more importantly, why is Sunday so profitable for me? It seems like the weekends are the best times to make sales, and over the week, it's a little slow and it seems to drag on as a smaller eBay seller with only 100 to 300 listings usually at a time. I don't always see sales every day, but it's usually um, every other day I'll definitely generate a sale, but on the weekends, it's something different. I'm telling you guys, it seems like the sales just quadruple for me and it always seems to be on a Sunday and I've always kind of understood this method and I wanted to put it into practice so how do I utilize this so as during the week is going this is when I spend as much time as I can sourcing new inventory hitting up local thrifts and going out there garage selling is available and more importantly just trying to find as much inventory as possible so in this four to five days Monday to Thursday that's when I really double down on getting my listings um, and all that through and also spend a lot of time um, going through and is sending offers to buyers. What I realized is that to really increase some of those sales during the week, um, <clears throat> a lot of offers are taking up during the week. But that's kind of how I strategize leading up to the week. Now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are always my hottest days. It seems like um, either one of those days are my best, but Sunday has been absolutely incredible for me the past um, two to three weeks, and I'm just very excited um, because I want to keep this going. So I build up as much inventory as possible on the weekdays, have it all listed, perfect condition, posted, all that stuff, and then ready for the weekend sale. So if you are getting started and you're not really seeing a lot of traction during the week, just continue to use that time to focus on getting as much inventory out for what you can do. So before I break down the inventory, how do I continue to like find this stuff? What am I looking for? Mainly I'm just looking for name brand stuff. There's a lot of things that you can pass up in the thrift that you really don't know what you want. But I've stuck to a few niches and models and especially in clothing has allowed me to just really hammer in and find the quality items. And as a college student, I don't have time to or at least store a lot of inventory. Um, I do have a lot of inventory here, but it's just I want to be as effective and as, as efficient as possible when I have the in inventory in my dorm because I don't have all this little knickknack stuff. It's mainly just clothes, and that's what excites me and loves me to get going. So, why do I believe that the weekends are a great time for you to start making money on eBay, and why do I think that it's the most profitable times for me, uh, especially Sunday? Uh, if you think about it, we people are busy. That's why we love efficiency. Efficiency comes um, in all shapes of form, whether the Wi-Fi is low, hey, you're going to be upset. And the same thing is you like Amazon Prime because it comes fast. Kind of breaking that down to a uh, separate view is just people are busy throughout the week. They don't have time to shop unless they are maybe um, maybe staying at home. But most of the majority of people that you're selling to are normal day-to-day -day people that just <clears throat> don't have much time on the weekend. So when... On the weekday, I'm sorry. But when the weekend hits, they have a little more leisure, they have more time to go shopping, and they have more time to buy. And this buying time is where you want to be at your tea, you want to be ready, um, and more importantly, strapped to answer a lot of messages on the weekend. Uh, I think the messaging rate goes up to two to three times on the weekends because people are looking and searching to buy on eBay. So if you're going to want to try to generate a few sales, what I realize is that you're going to ask for measurements if you're not um, listing the measurements and also people are going to have questions about the condition, size, shape, or even anything about the item. And the faster you get back to them, the more reliable they're going to think you are and more optimistic they are going to be from buying from you. So I've tried to keep my phone ready on the weekends. I'm excited to wake up to a lot of notifications and also some sales on the weekends. So prepare yourself for the weekend that's what i love so people are busy guys remember that um and this the buying opportunity is always going to skyrocket on the weekend and that's why i think sunday is the best for me just people uh, if they're religious are gonna be staying home going to church and it's like the day of rest and what do you do on your day of rest when you're used to working you search the internet you go on facebook you go on all these websites and then you find what you've been looking for so that's why i believe um, Sundays have been great for me. I hope they're also great for you. So what you can do to really optimize your sales, I can just couldn't preach this anymore, is just focus on getting the inventory listed during the week and just prepare, buckle down, and be responsive on the weekend. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to show you and break down the items that actually sold for me on this weekend, uh, on this Sunday. A great day for me. Um, and they are going to have everything listed, posted, um, and then shipped off. Um, the inventory is actually here behind me in the corner. Um, 
for most of it and we gotta get some stuff with the grab too but <clears throat> overall uh, I'm very excited to go take that to the post office and walk in there with some packages so the first item of the day as you can see here is this Patagonia fleece um, pants I actually found these in a women's department section I sold them as men I've never seen these before I believe they're actually super neat um, vintage looking Patagonia um, sweats I picked them up I believe for like six bucks was able to flip it for 30 plus shipping so great find Patagonia one of my most exciting brands to ever find in the thrift and here we are with a North Face pullover I had this thing for about a year I bought it at a garage sale over the summer way way back ago um, and I really just wanted to get sold I had it listed at like 23 but I ended up taking a best offer of 18 free shipping so not the best profit there but um, just ready to get rid of some old inventory so I ended up picking that up as well <clears throat> and then here we are with a vintage ll beam medium red pile fleece i think it's like a more vintage looking fleece i picked it up i really don't know exactly how much i paid for it i'd say any anything below ten dollars so i uh, was picking up for sold it for 30. i picked it up for pretty cheap and made some quality i love this brand and i also love this vintage patagonia feel to it so i knew it was going to do hot for me selling about five days i believe so great pickup then here we are with this vintage Woolrich blanket denim. Denim usually is a hot, hot take on eBay. I found this Woolrich in one of my previous videos at a small um, thrift. I think I paid 10 for it, um, but I was willing to uh, pay up for it because the comps on it were absolutely, absolutely amazing. So um, there's a neat Woolrich brand. If it's still in there, it's still selling. If you can find it, pick it up. Um, sold in about a week and a half, two weeks. And then here is a Callaway golf shirt. A lot of these are found in the thrift, but it did take a little bit longer to sell. Um, I picked up, I believe, four fifty or maybe a little bit less at a Salvation Army, um, and I sold for twenty plus shipping. So um, quality profit on that item. And then here we are with another solid find. Here, I think I found this on Monday, um, my first day I moved in here. Um, Patagonia hooded Gore-Tex looking jacket. I paid twenty for it and sold it for seventy um, plus eight twenty-five for shipping. So. I mean, you can't beat that. Patagonia was hot. First thing I found then on the mornings. Um, one quality tip I can tell you is if you do thrift in the morning, you have better odds. I've been trying to go a little bit as early as possible once they wake up, but with school and stuff, it's hard to get out there in the morning, but I'm still finding some items out there uh, later in the afternoon as well. And then here we are with a, <clears throat> a leather fishing belt that I found at a yard sale. I had two, paid 50 cents for this guy. I was able to flip it for $12.50 uh, and free shipping. So let's kind of break my sales weekends have always been amazing for me I'm gonna go ahead I have a few things to list this week um, don't go anywhere guys I'm gonna be thrifting throughout the week posting more so if you have not joined me on the channel hit that subscribe thank you guys for tuning in hope you got some value out of this let me know leave a comment do you do the best on the weekends what is your sales looking like um, and are you getting out of that late December slump um, ready for uh, January February to take over your eBay business so Hope you guys are going out there crushing it, killing it today. Um, very excited for this week. Hope you also have an amazing week. RIP to a legend, um, Kobe Bryant, man. Uh, incredible news today. So I hope you guys um, enjoy life and learn to live and live the life that you want to live because you never know when your time is up. A little bit of inspiration there. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get the eBay business popping and let's keep flipping. Peace out.